Hello guys, welcome. Uh, I'm gonna show you today some tricks and tips how you can get more FPS in this game, basically. Trago used to make a YouTube video feel like for season 12, I think. It like it's nearly the same settings, just like a more like some more uh, specifications. Can, guys, if you go onto your Steam, right, and then you go on to manage, or you go to properties, let's say properties, installed files, and then you go here on this one, browse, right? Then a new tab opens. You go onto the folder called Naraka Playpoint Data. And then you go onto the boot. Normally it's, it's saved under boot.config. You open it in Notepad just once, not off always, right? And then you're gonna there's like some, some cool tricks, right? This one is your RAM. And this is the, the uh, processes of your CPU gonna, gonna get taken basically. For like 8 is the normal one, like it's the default one. If you go to 4, this is for solos duos, like this is recommended for duos and solos. If you go up to eight, this is for only trios, like this is where you get the most. Okay, this one I never used because my CPU, I don't know, it's lagging with this, I don't understand. And there you have this one, GPU skinning mode and enable instancing. I don't know what this does, but this made your game, like made my game um, smoother. I'm going to put this also in the description later so you can copy this um then there are nvidia settings like in control panel right you go into this and then you go here right into this one it's important you just add to this so if you ever feel uncomfortable you just can reset it again image scaling you just go on off the the filtering you go also on off the gamma correction you go on off the anti-aliasing mode off Max frame rate off. Here you're gonna take your GPU, like on the CUDA. The system, you just go on dry, uh, the default, low latency mode, you just go on off. The max frame rate is also off, it's really important. The monitor technology, you just go on fixed refresh rate. If you have G Sync, fuck off with this, don't use it. Then you go for this one, you go, of course, with prefer uh, performance, it's important. The, then you go down, prefer uh, the performance mode, as always. This one is really important also. You go on highest available, right? Not application controlled, highest available. Then uh, this one, I, bro, I can't read the shit. It's, it's on off, right? These two, you just leave on off. Then also the quality, you just go on high performance. The tr this one is also on. Like if you have it on on, it gives you more, basically. The threaded optimization, you just leave it on off. Um, the triple buffering is also off. And the vertical sync, you also turn off. You don't want V-Sync in your game. So you just select the settings, right? You can just copy them. Then you just press on apply, but I'm not going to do this because I have it like differently. And yes. Then I'm going to show you some other stuff you can do with your CPU on your BIOS. Okay, guys, so now we go back to the BIOS settings. This one is what helped me the most. Um, it depends, legit, it depends. I hope you have, like, for it's for AMD users, it's better for Intel, it's nearly the same. But for Intel, I don't know, it's okay. If you have, the first you're gonna do, right, if you go into your BIOS, um, you're gonna use the XMP or the XPO profile for your RAM. On AMD, it's XPO, on Intel, it's XMP. And you go into your BIOS, there will be a setting called AMD overclocking. Then you're going to click on this, and then in the advanced tab. Then you're going to search for the tab PBO. That means precision boost overdrive. You're going to put this one on advanced, a sign called uh, PBO limits. And then you're going to search, or like next to it, you can click it. I'm going to put a picture into this. Uh, and then you're going to look for PBO limits. Me motherboard basically just the mb of yours below precision boost over uh, overdrive scalar control that you're going to put on manual below this there's precision boost overdrive scalar and then you can put with um like you can choose between 1x and 10x i'm using 9x at the moment but i would start at f 3 4 5x mark at the first then you, you can whatever you want you can just go up and down it's up to you guys then cpu boost clock override gonna put this on enabled and then on positive 
Below that, you can choose max CPU boost clock over, right? In the plus, because you put before on boost, uh, like on the positive run. You're gonna put this at first at 50, then you can go up to 100, and like whatever you want, basically. But you have to be careful, right? because this is a dangerous topic. Like, bio settings and mainboard is always critical. Below this, there's platform thermal uh, throttle control, basically. There, you put auto. Many people put their number, but put auto. Auto is better than putting a number, like for me at least. And below this is something called curve optimizer and curve shaper. And you're gonna go curve optimizer. This is now undervolting your CPU. If you don't want this, then you don't need to, but the less temperature you have on your CPU, the better the performance will be, like the boost overdrive. Um, you're gonna go on to curve optimizer, then you're gonna go on to all cores, then you're gonna go negative, and you can start with minus 20 first. Then you can go up by 5, and when it, uh, when it crashes, just reset the bias, do the same, and just, you just try yourself up, basically. And then MSI afterburner, right? It's up to every GPU. Like, it's, you can't use my st uh, stats, what I have, but I'm just gonna put you a picture into uh, the video later. And you can boost also the core clock. You can go up by 50, you can go up by 100 megahertz. The memory clock should never be over 1000, but I have like more than 1000 because my GPU is differently. But it's up to you guys, basically. And this is how you get more FPS in Naraka. This is the easy and the hard way. Yeah, I hope this video helped. And yeah, take care guys. Peace.